I'd like to introduce Professor Michael Crawford, the Director of the Institute for Brain Chemistry and Human Nutrition at London's famous Imperial College. Michael has a distinguished career, an Air Force pilot, a worker for human health in Africa, and above all, the godfather of DHA. In 1972, he made the molecular connection between the eating of fish marine products and intelligence. Listen to the godfather of DHA, the iconic person in the establishment of nutrition for brain health on this planet. I'm sending my greetings to Wolohi to say how much I'm looking forward to working with you as chief scientist to promote the importance of DHA in cognition and intelligence and its significance for the whole of the planet. So what is DHA? Well, DHA stands for Decosa Hexa Enoic Acid and it is an essential fatty acid required for the photoreceptor and the brain. It is the major structural component of the membranes in the photoreceptor and the eye that converts photons from the sun into your vision. And it did that starting some 600 million years ago and does the same thing today. So it has a long track record that despite all the genetic changes throughout 600 million years of animal evolution, the only molecule that has been used by nature to build the photoreceptor, which is your vision, and to build the neurons and synapses of the brain, which is what makes the brain work, the only molecule that's been used in the omega-3 series for the membranes of these signaling systems is decosa hexa enoic acid. And we believe that it works in, in several different ways. One of them is that it is responsible for stimulating gene expression in the brain. So you can imagine during human evolution access to a resource of DHA which is primarily in the marine food web because that's where the brain evolved right at the beginning of time. That access to that system would not only be providing the building bricks for the photoreceptor and the nervous system but also stimulating the necessary protein synthesis that required for cerebral expansion. A point about the comparative evidence on the evolution of the brain. The, basically on the land-based system, you see as animals get bigger and bigger, the brains get relatively smaller. Uh, there's only one exception to that, and that is Homo sapiens. Now the interesting thing about that is the argument we put forward is that the, to achieve that exception, you had to have had a source of omega-3 DHA, iodine and all the other elements that are important for the brain and they're in the sea. Now what we're doing with the oceans today is what the Neanderthals were doing with the hunting and gathering 100,000 years ago. It's the same philosophy and it's got to change. The only way for the future is not hunting and gathering the ocean but doing exactly the same thing that they did 10,000 years ago and that is to agriculturalize the oceans. Now by cleaning the oceans, cleaning the estuaries, and farming the sea, we will solve that problem by providing not only food for the body and the health of the body, but also food for the brain and the continued progress of mankind instead of its present destination, which is downward.